Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your remote desktop connection failed and then an internal error has occurred. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the solution. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in remote desktop. Best match, come back to remote desktop connection. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to select the Show Options button, and then select the Experience tab, where it says Reconnect if the connection is dropped. Make sure that is checkmarked in there, so that's very important. And then once you've done that, you can just select Connect, and then hopefully you should be able to connect without issue. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt to open up the Group Policy Editor here. So open up the search again, type in Group Policy. Best result should come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to just make this window a little bit wider here, first of all. What you want to start with is underneath Computer Configuration. Double click on the Administrative Templates folder. And then do the same thing for the Windows Components folder. You want to go down in this list now until you locate something that says Remote Desktop Services. So go down and just double click on it. Should be something in here that says Remote Desktop Session Host. Go ahead and double click on that. And then there should be a security folder. Go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, you want to locate something that says require use of specific security layer for remote RDP connections. Double click on that. Set this to enabled and make sure security layer, click into the drop down, is set to RDP. And then you would select apply and OK. And then once you're done with that, you can just close out of here. And that should be able to resolve the problem. If you are still having an issue, something else we can try here as well would be to open up the search again, type in advanced system settings, best match, come back over advanced system settings, go ahead and open that up. Select the remote tab and make sure allow remote assistance connections to this computer is checkmarked. And if you see anything that says remote desktop, choose an option and specify who can connect. You want to allow remote connections to this computer. So pretty straightforward process guys, you want to make sure both of them are turned on. And then you would select Apply and OK to save the change, and that's it. So probably will want to restart your computer as well. And then once you've restarted your computer, then attempt to connect back to the remote desktop utility, and then hopefully your issues should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Dubai is able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.